Some of you know I had a, a, a correspondence relationship with Mother Teresa for a very long time. So this story especially speaks to me. So this photojournalist had a 15 minute slot, a precious 15 minute slot with Mother Teresa and was just about to interview Mother Teresa in the open courtyard of the missionaries of charity in Calcutta when a car screeched to a halt. And it was a convertible in, in Calcutta, a big uh, Chevrolet with uh, uh, an open uh, top and a couple jumped out. Lo and behold, Mother Teresa is there at the entrance. They ask uh, Mother Teresa if uh, they could have a picture uh, with her. And, you know, Mother, uh, in her gracious, smiling way, yes, of course. And so they hand the photojournalist their camera. And, you know, of course, the camera is in good hands. And, uh, you know, she takes a picture or two and hands the camera back. And they say, oh, no, no, we'd like a few more shots. And uh, so, you know, she takes a few more shots. And then they say, oh, mother, uh, could you just move a little? And, you know, could we be on either side of you? And uh, mother, of course, smiles and uh, obliges. And the photojournalist is about to again, hand the camera back and they say, oh, we definitely want a shot, uh, you know, by this beautiful sign which says uh, uh, Nirmal Hirdai, which basically means a compassionate heart. So you have a sense of where this is going. 15 precious minutes and being eaten away by a couple who clearly uh, were on a mission. So a few minutes, seven or eight have tick by, and while she's clicking the pictures, you can imagine what's happening inside. You know? uh, seething is the word that she used uh, to describe this, you know, clenching her teeth and her uh, fists and, you know, really wanting to choke them for this uh, absurdity. They finally depart, and now only a few minutes are left, and Mother Teresa is, a, is her usual self. She's calm, she's smiling and the photojournalist uh, says, how could you entertain? Uh, yeah, and she couldn't even complete her uh, sentence. And she said, mother put her hand uh, on my shoulder and she said, my child, you have to remember that in this world of ours, there are different kinds of poverty. There is material poverty uh, but my child, my whole work is about, in some ways, addressing the poverty of the heart, uh, the poverty of uh, the spirit. And I have sort of reflected on this story a great deal, not so much for what Mother said, but I think what Mother Teresa is telling me, at least, uh, is that while there are different kinds of poverty, there are also uh, different kinds of abundance. While there are different kinds of disparity, mm -hmm. there are also uh, different kinds of equity. And while it's a long way from Mother Teresa's Calcutta to Hollywood, we all need allies. But I'm inspired by the story of how jazz icon uh, Ella Fitzgerald, who was not being booked by uh, these clubs in Hollywood until Marilyn Monroe, a very dear friend, uh, said to these nightclub owners that she would sit in the front row every time they allowed Ella Fitzgerald to perform. So I guess there are different kinds of fragmentation and there are different kinds of connection. And there's so many beautiful stories of Mae West telling her producers at Paramount that, no, I'm not starring in this film unless Duke Ellington and his orchestra are with me uh, on stage. So the different kinds of poverty and there are different kinds of abundance and there are different kinds of disparity and there are different kinds of equity and there are different kinds of fragmentation and different kinds of connection.